Hello everybody and welcome. I'm Chris. This is Defense Grid 2. A little bit of a different game here. Uh, this is a tower defense game uh, where you build these towers to prevent uh, a bunch of aliens from getting those cores uh, right at the, the home base here. So we are going to build a few towers here. Uh, the game type we are playing is called Grinder, uh, in which we have to face a hundred waves of aliens. So, we will uh, put on the fast forward button here. Um, so this guy is a gun tower, uh, he just shoots. Um, pretty standard stuff. Uh, this one is an Inferno Tower. He lights everything on fire. This is one of my favorites, a Concussion Tower. Kind of like scatters little explosives and does damage to a wide area. Which uh, does very good work. So I will slow things down here. I'm going to add a Temporal Tower which actually slows down all of the aliens in the area. Which gives me more time to shoot them. Want to upgrade this concussion tower right away. You can upgrade it to a total of level 3. Costs more and more every time you do. Now look at them all! So I'll just keep going with this little uh, thing. Uh, as you build towers, um, you can kind of shape the way the enemies will go. So you can kind of see that arrow uh, path change as I build towers. Um, that is... Uh, that will be the path that they take. I don't really get to control it. I can just change the, the towers around the, the area and they will take the shortest path that they can to get there. Uh, so, careful planning means I can uh, kind of control what happens. Um, control where they go. Which is oddly soothing. Like, that's kind of the part of the game that I really like, is that you're kind of dictating where they go and uh, kind of building a path. Uh, I'm going to add a Disruptor to this Inferno Tower. What that does is if any of these guys have a shield, the Disruptor will lower the shield uh, within its radius. Great, the Temporal. And overcharge that one. That just increases its strength. We get a little heat map of where they're dying if we want. Um, I will add a cannon back here. Cannons are more long range, they're corner, sort of more like a sniper rifle. They're slow firing, but they do a lot of damage and they have a uh, big range. Uh, this is an interesting little game. Uh, I believe I played both Defense Grid 1 and Defense Grid 2 through Games of Gold. Uh, it was free through having a uh, Xbox Live Gold subscription. Um, they're fun little games. Uh, each one has like uh, its own little scenarios. Uh, Defense Grid 2 actually has uh, is narrated by Alan Tudyk, um, who is just everywhere. Uh, Firefly, every Disney movie ever. So you can see, now that I've added this tower, it's actually quicker for them to go around, which is bad. So I'm going to add a boost here. Uh, I can put towers right on the ground if I'm desperate, but the boost allows me to add, like, the disruptor and the, the overcharge. Um, so it's just a, a smart idea to do it. Alright, so now they can't go this way, they are forced to go through here. You can see there's actually an X, because that is their only way through, I can't just block them from 
from getting there, they have to have a path. Um... I'll just keep adding things this way. Add a laser tower, that does kind of consistent damage. But it doesn't look like anyone is really getting that far at this point. I'll add score boosts to kind of uh, bump up my score here. <laughs> Not sure if I'll need it, but... On this t this platform here, I'm going to add um, meteor towers. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to see, but they actually have a huge range, um, and then they do damage in an area. So I will pl I will place a couple over here. Boost towers do everything but make cookies, like block aliens and give towers built on them special powers. That's right, you heard me. So that was Alan Tudyk. You probably recognize his voice from something, because that's just the kind of guy he is. <laughs> uh, but the the core game has all of these uh, quirky AIs that you're trying to collect uh, as you go through, and each one has different powers. Um, so like if I pulled the trigger right now, I'd have this like special beam that it's kind of like a panic button. It like, you can see my cursor change there. It kind of obliterates all the aliens in that area. So if I make a mistake and they're starting to, to come through, then I have a little panic button to, to save me. Put some cannons back here just in case anyone gets through. That way uh, they can kind of shoot in this area right by the cores. Give me a little, uh, little backup plan. Uh, look at them all go. It's just, it's just something I play when I want to just kind of zen out, you know. Like, I don't want to play a sweaty shooter, or I don't want to have to think too hard. I can just kind of turn off my brain and watch all the pretty towers and build my own little uh, defense grid. Haha. <laughs> So usually what happens is uh, I get a little lax because I'm like, oh, this is going great. And then as more and more enemies get pushed through, I don't build anymore. And then uh, all of a sudden I'm losing a bunch of cores. But we won't let that happen, right? Uh, I'm going to throw a missile tower. is also more of a long-range thing. Then I'll just put a gun over here. Just keep uh, stockpiling my defenses. Boost, and then I'll put a temporal. So that even if they do get around that corner, they're still slowed down. That's really what... Uh, games like this is kind of why I like Games with Gold and now Game Pass. 
It's just because it allows me to play games that I probably never would have paid for. Like if I would have seen this in the store, I would have been like, nah. I'm not gonna pay, you know, 20, 30 bucks for a game I've never heard of. But now with Games of Gold and Game Pass, where it's like, oh, it's free, did you want to try it? It's like, yeah, absolutely. It allows me to, it allows me and I guess everyone to just kind of uh, try things without the monetary investment, but utilize stuff that I'm already paying for. This sounds like I'm being paid to say this, but I'm actually not. <laughs> I swear I just, I've been really digging Game Pass and all the things it's allowed me to play. Uh, and I think it's a really good deal. Uh, same thing with uh, the PlayStation Plus games, too. Um, like, I know that was a huge thing. I believe Fall Guys uh, was on PlayStation Plus. Uh, like, it was free as soon as it came out, and that was a huge boost to that game. Because everyone everyone could play it. Everyone just downloaded it right away and played. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure it was uh, free with Games with Gold right away. I have to decide if I want to, because they their path takes them here. I could send them around this way, or I could just continue to push them along this path. I think I want to continue push, to push them along this path. So I will put a boost here. And, uh, I don't know, what do we want to throw? Let's throw... Let's throw just, uh, let's throw a laser. And then here we can throw a concussion. see where yeah everyone seems to be dying right here which is good that's that's pretty early we are more than halfway through this this grinder already um, the this is the standard grinder uh, game type which is just 100 waves of the walkers the most basic infantry type uh, there's also a mode we can do, maybe if we do a second video on this, we can do a Super Grinder. And that is 100 waves of every enemy type. Um, so that can get a lot more complicated. Um, let's, put a, let's put a few cannons back here. Just to make sure we're... Uh, staying on top of them, because I noticed they're starting to get a little further. Whereas before we were killing everyone, like, right here, right at the beginning, now they're starting to get way back here, so... Just look at all that... Oh, no, I didn't want to sell it. Whoops. Look at all that dis destruction. They block aliens, you can build a tower right on them, and they give special abilities to towers built on them. I mean, come on! Okay. Now we are cruising. Out a score boost there since a lot of people seem to be dying there. Remember, we still are on fast forward, so if I slow it down, that's how fast the game normally goes. But I won't put you through that. And if I so choose, I know I went in here earlier, I can pay 400 uh, resources to lift up this area, and then the path gets much longer. So I can actually put a tower here, and you can see now they have to go all the way around here. Okay, on wave 
66. But I'll put some things over here. Put a temporal, slow people down. And I'll just put some guns over here. Just some basic guns. Don't need anything fancy. Just slow them down and shoot them up a little bit. therapeutic to look at. I can't really explain it. I believe I've perfected this game. Uh, I went through and the achievements aren't that difficult. Um, I think the hardest thing is just getting another person to have to own the game and do the, the co-op achievements. Go for a high score here, put score boosts on everything. Man, they're... They're almost getting through there. They're not, but they're almost. <laughs> Alright, wave 75. We are 75% of the way through this thing. So even if they go all the way through there, they have to get shot at there. They have to get shot at there, then they come back around. Then they have to go through this thing again. There we go. We'll, uh... We'll keep them on their toes here. Don't want to slack off and stop adding towers so that things get things get through, right? Don't want that. All right, now now the that heat bar is starting to leak into this area more. That heat map, uh, they're, so they're starting to die in this area instead of right at the beginning. Which means they're sending a lot at us because these things can only focus. These towers can only shoot at one thing at a time. Um, except for like the area ones, like the meteor towers and the concussion towers, which is why those are really good because they just hit everything that goes by them. They're not really particular. So yeah, for a game that was free, ah, I keep doing that. For a game that was free, uh, I've gotten a lot of uh, enjoyment out of it, which I think is the goal, you know? Try and maximize your, your value out of it. Since it's not really that demanding of a game, uh, uh, storage-wise, it's pretty easy to justify just kind of keeping this on my Xbox, just to uh, just to play every once in a while, just in case I have a, a little bit of extra time. I don't want to like start a new mission or start a new game of something. Uh, I can just throw this on, do a few levels, and hop off. 
it does reach a certain point where you could definitely walk away from the controller and the game would essentially finish itself. We might be at that phase. We're probably at that phase. Just kick back. We're at wave 91. So I've been enjoying mixing up my games a little bit. I love doing, I love Mass Effect and I will play it until it's finished. Uh, but doing it three times a week, uh, I feel like I was making Mass Effect videos faster than people were watching Mass Effect videos. So uh, I decided to change to a more grab bag um, style for one of the days. Uh, so I've been doing just uh, whatever game I can come up with on Monday. I know I've played Adventures, I'm doing this. Um, so let me know if there's something that uh, you'd like to see me play. Um, I'm up for pretty much anything. Uh, but, uh, I'll f shoot off my laser just for fun. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I want to make videos that you guys want to see, uh, that you guys enjoy. So, whether it's a game that you know a lot about, or you're like, hey, I don't know about this, uh, just let me know. I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. This machine will basically play itself now. <laughs> so maybe I'll do another. Maybe I'll do a super grinder in this just to uh, just to see what kind of just to show off another map, just to show off another game type, and uh, then I'll be looking for something else. So let me know in the comments what you want to see. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, I guess, because this is pretty much it. Oh, look at this guy. Go, man, go. Oh, I was rooting for you, buddy. All right. And that is uh, Defense Grid 2. I beat my high score, thanks to all those score boosts. So, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for letting me know what you want to see me play. And I will see you next time. Bye!